So I'm Steve Croft and I'm here with Zhu Wei Yun, who is a winner of the 2018 New Horizons Prize in Math. Congratulations. Thank you. I believe that when you were in third grade, a teacher told you something interesting about the number 0.999 recurring, uh, which really inspired you. Can you tell us what it was and why it excited you? Oh, yeah. So um, at the time, I, we just started to learn decimal numbers. And uh, one day, my math teacher told me that uh, if you write 0.9999, um, just repeating 9 uh, infinitely, you actually get 1. I, I could, could not understand this, uh, this phenomenon. I thought it could never reach one. Um, but it, it kind of triggered my, my interest in mathematics. You can, uh, something is quite counterintuitive, but it's true. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that, that interested me. Right. And that was sort of the inspiration for you to, to carry on in a math yeah, career? Yeah. You've worked very closely with Wei Zhang and two other Chinese mathematicians. Can you tell me how you met and why you started working together? So uh, the four of us actually met when we were in high school uh, uh, doing uh, math Olympiads. And uh, we were classmates in college in the same year. Uh, and uh, we, after college, we all uh, came here to the US um, to study uh, math PhD programs in, in different places. But uh, we were, uh, we kind of change, exchange emails frequently. We discuss problems. We also met each other, uh, not at, not necessarily for uh, the, all the, the four people, but we yeah we share our interest, uh, what we learned. Um, so we are we are we are very good friends uh, in life, mm -hmm. and also we we are um, you know close collaborators. So I think that was really helpful to my career. And do the four of you have similar taste in mathematics? I think so, yeah. So we all like to uh, make connections uh, between different mathematical subjects. Uh, we, we, we're not just uh, focusing on uh, a, a narrow direction, um, but rather um, to look for similarities uh, across different objects. What are the good things and bad things about collaborating with close friends? Oh. Uh, Think of anything bad, <laughs> uh, you know. I uh, I can send send away an email at like uh, um, twelve a.m. saying that I just finished typing this section. Could you take a look? Uh, yeah, I think I can only think of good things about it. <laughs> and what is Wei like as a mathematician? He's uh, um, exactly the kind of mathematician that. Um, sees the connection between, between uh, seemingly different objects. Um, yeah, so um, <clears throat> actually we started with very different training. I was more on the geometry side and he was more on the number theory side. And uh, which, is, which is very good. I mean, uh, uh, through discussions with him, I learned a lot of number theory. Uh, so, so to me, he's kind of my my uh, contact mm -hmm. in the number theory community. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how does your collaboration work? I mean, you, you said a lot over email, but are you kind of sitting in a room together working something out? Do you go and walk out in nature? Or? We, during our collaboration, we actually did not um, physically appear <laughs> in the same place. We mostly communicated by telephone or by email. Uh, we, we had different skills, mm -hmm. kind of complementary to each other. So I, I do something, he does something, uh, and put things together. Uh, there, there, of course, there, there are um, part of the paper that we, uh, it's the result of uh, uh, kind of uh, back and forth communication, but there are also parts where we just worked independently. Mm -hmm. And you talked about the importance of sort of different areas of math coming together to, yeah. to contribute to a discovery. Is it difficult sometimes to speak the language of a mathematician from a different area? Yeah, I think uh, it, it's becoming a kind of serious uh, obstruction to um, 
to kind of um, binding mathematics as a as a whole, uh, and this is also something that I I try to um, learn the language from different subjects. Uh, I, uh, so sometimes it can be it can be difficult, um, but one can always you know by going to various conferences, seminars, by talking to uh, people working in different fields, um, one can at least get a sense of uh, what um, what's happening in, in some other subjects. What about explaining your work to non-mathematicians? Is there anything that you can sort of uh, uh, um, tease out for somebody who doesn't <laughs> have expertise in the area? I, I can certainly say something without going into details. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'm most interested in um, using geometric tools to study algebra questions. So these algebra questions include uh, group theory, which studies symmetry, or number theory, which studies uh, integer solutions of equations. So um, if you remember from high school mathematics, um, the, uh, the intuition is sort of working in the other direction. We, we uh, often use algebraic tools to study geometric shapes. Uh, for example, you have uh, some tricky uh, Euclidean geometry problem, and, but after, after you introduce coordinates, it may become just a routine algebraic calculation. Uh, but in mo modern mathematics, the, inf the, the kind of influence between algebra and the geometry is working in both directions. And I'm particularly interested in the direction, the, the, um, how to apply geometric tools to solve algebra, algebra problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great.